The On Location team were delighted to be back in fantastic Glasgow to catch television lighting designer and director Roger Williams whilst working on a new show for the BBC. He told us about his professional beginnings in the theatre, his 18 glorious years at the BBC and some of the highlights of his very successful freelance career since then, including lighting Channel 4's The Jump. We have uh, BBC Scotland behind you and how do you know this location? This is, this is my favourite uh, studio to, to work in really, it's a, it's a great location, um, it's a new build, it's only been open about 12 years or so, technically it's great uh, and the people are fantastic to work here so I, I do about, if I'm lucky, two series a year up here which I, I, I really enjoy. For, for the record, this is Queen's Park in Glasgow. It's one of the high points of the city. Uh, and we had a panoramic view behind us going down into the city and I think we can even see the BBC building from there, which is where Roger's currently working. How did you first get involved in lighting? What first made you get interested in the medium? Oh, it was, it was as long ago as I can remember. Um, I going to see theatre shows, little amateur shows or pantos. Were you a child was, at the time? Yeah, 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 probably sort of around, around about 10. And I just found myself looking at, looking around at the lights, seeing, seeing lights come on and off and different colours. And I was watching that far more than the action on the stage. And I, that, that's when I sort of had, had a sort of fascination for light and colour. Uh, my secondary school had a, a, a newly built wing, which included a theatre, which at the time was the the most technically advanced school theatre in England, if not in the UK. So I spent so much time in the theatre rather than in lessons. Um, I, I, I taught myself so much there. While, while, I, while I was at school, I was 16, I got involved with a little um, provincial amateur sort of slash professional rep theatre very locally to me. Um, and I sort of fitted in there really well. And it was weekly rep turnarounds. It was a different show each week. And I got involved with all lighting aspects there from rigging, eventually console operation on the, the, the old manual desks, which was sort of so much, so much fun. And um, eventually I covered the, the Chief Alex on his, his holiday relief. So I actually was able to design for some of the shows that came in. Um, and I worked there on a casual basis um, for a, a good maybe two and a half years from from sort of the age of 16. The first show that I did there when I was 16 was the 60s musical Hair of course with uh, um, with the nudity and everything involved so hugely the, controversial at the hugely time I controversial. believe and it was such a great show but I remember the uh, um, the general manager there say, who was directing the show said I really do need to phone your mother just to let her make sure she's aware of what what we're putting you through uh, and my mum and dad had seen it back in the 60s, but of course it, it was fine, but it was just really strange at sort of 16 going, my first paid job was actually doing, do, doing something like that. And then uh, well, you went to college, didn't you? Yes, just before college I had a, my first full-time employment was the Greenwich Theatre where I, I spent seven months there as assistant electrician before going to Croydon College where I did a three-year diploma course in theatre lighting design and production management. And then when did the BBC come into the play? Finished college in 83, uh, did a bit of freelance work and completely, did just by chance, um, oh, discussions with my father and he said, what about the BBC? And I thought, oh, well, nobody ever gets into the BBC. But I got an application form, filled it in, sent it off and to my surprise was called for an interview. Um, and the interview went very well and ended up with me being taken on as a studio lighting electrician. So Valentine's Day 1984, I started my uh, 18 years I spent as a staff job at, at BBC. Yeah, 18 incredibly happy years as I started off as um, a studio lighting electrician. I worked my way up and in 2002 I, I left the BBC as, as a staff LD to, to further my career as, as a freelance LD. Obviously since then you've worked all over the world and uh, done many amazing and exciting shows. Are there any standout moments from that that you like immediately recall? The jump for Channel 4, the, the ski jump show was just, it, it, it was just on another level for scale and uh, just, just something so different in the most fantastic location 
vast, um, long periods of time. The series ran for four years, and we, we, we would be in Austria in the Alps for six to eight weeks, uh, January, February, March for those four years, and it, it was just fantastic. It was chaotic, but just such fun, and just being able to sort of take basically a studio uh, from in the warmth of inside just to put on on a, on, on a mountain and light a mountain was just uh, exceptional I mean that that was that, that that's that's the high point of my career I think for for creative creativity and enjoy and just fun but uh, whenever we'd have a sort of set and light day it would all by the time they got to sunset when I could actually start setting the lights a blizzard would invariably come in so I'd spend the next sort of three hours on on a mountain coming down a slope in a blizzard with sparks up nine meter towers trying to focus 750 park hands for me trying to understand what I'm saying while the snow's getting deeper and me being um, sometimes um, waist deep in snow. The time off there, the skiing and, and the drinking after was just uh, made, made it perfect. What are you doing here at BBC Scotland? A new daytime quiz show for Channel 4 called The Answer Trap. I had initial phone calls or emails about this last October but nobody was exactly sure whether we'd be able to get ahead and do it the way they wanted to do it but we're here doing 30 episodes uh, we've done four oh, we've got 26 to go over the next 10 days and it's going well and it's it's an interesting it's for Channel 4 daytime so it's probably the three o'clock slot for one of for, for their hour slot for a quiz show and it's quite an intellectual quiz show we enjoy playing along with it in the gallery and I hope to leave here more uh, with more knowledge than I came up and it's also great because it's a real set there's there's a video for gameplay video screen for gameplay but it's a full studio of a real set which allows me to to just put my little delicate touches on and make it make make it really nice what have you been doing since the pandemic started so say in in about the last year you know how, how has that affected you a, a year ago now, um, once, once, or just be, well, literally a week before lockdown kicked in, we were two days into a 10 day stand on a show at Elstree and we'd literally done two hours of rehearsals on the first day and that was, that was abandoned uh, and the, the, for the next few days that week I lost five series so ev all the work I had between March and July just disappeared um, so nothing in that period at all but fortunately um, TV picked back up through the summer and I had a really busy seven months from the summer through to January this year. Fantastic. Apart from um, obviously the work that you've had more recently, um, has the pandemic allowed you time to do any of those things that you've been wanting to do for a while? <laughs> the weather helped hugely so my garden is now particularly beautiful after the summer last year. Um, I spent a lot of time in the garden doing bits and pieces uh, and tidying it up and also in, in the house I was able to do some decorating and just do general things that I keep putting off from day to day thinking oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow uh, and I realised that it's pointless putting it off to do it tomorrow, I may as well do it today. Looking back over your whole career are there any other sort of highlights? Highlights for me yeah, my, my first sort of early um, lighting operator jobs were um, live and kicking for BBC in the, the good old days of children's television. I, I think I, I gave up seven years of, of six months a year of Saturday mornings for that, which, which was great. Uh, then Strictly Come Dancing came along and I programmed the first ten series of that. That was, that was really revolutionary as, a, as an entertainment um, and uh, voting show. You know, so many others came along after that, but that was that, that was the start of it. I don't think there's been anything that I've done that I've, I, I've sort of hated. I, I, they're the things I don't enjoy as much as others, but <laughs> I, I, I get on with everything and smile. Is there a show, an event or an artist that you dream about lighting? I mean, Queen have always been my favourite uh, band mus musically and uh, artistically. I just, just loved it and I would have loved to have done anything with them, whether it was, was a, a moment on uh, you know, them doing a number on a TV show or I would have loved to have done one of their tours. Um, so creative, ju just, just amazing. I was fortunate to see them as a punter five times in, in the good old days with Freddie. Oh wow, and quite a fan have, then. Yeah, absolutely. I would have loved to have to actually been able to work with them. But from a TV side, I, th I think so many of us would love to do 
a big music show like the Brits or the MAs, something like that, and then uh, completely at the, the other end uh, of the spectrum for me. I'd love to do a block on a soap opera, whether it be EastEnders, Coronation, Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, just something slightly different to what I normally do, just to, just to, to, to say I've done it. What do you most love about your work? Love the creativity, uh, being able to, being able to in, interpret um, what I've got up here into light, being able to put it into, in, into actions with the work, and just working with really talented, lovely people, um, and so many people that I work with aren't just work colleagues, I'd, I'd, I'd call them real friends, so I'm able to go to work, do a really good job, have, have, have great fun do, and, and it's all with friends.